Morgan from For Love of Paper and I'm here with an art journal process video for you. Uh, this one I created back uh, on Anzac Day so it is a couple of months old and I kind of had forgot that I'd recorded it and it was sitting in my list of or folder of videos that I hadn't edited so I thought I would edit it and pop it up even though it's a little bit a little bit late but that's okay I really really liked the process for this um, art journal I loved how it turned out and it was really really fun so I started off with some black gesso and just covered both of my pages completely in that and I wanted to do some poppies on my um, on my page but once I'd done the black gesso red wasn't going to show up so I started with some uh, white gesso uh, over the top to try and make my little flower shapes and I'm just using my finger as you can see and doing some little circly blob things and then as it kind of as I kind of progressed with it I realized sort of uh, upside down triangle that's kind of got a little bit of a heart shape to it was the best shape for what I wanted so I did a bunch of those across the page um, in white so that I could go back over them in red once that had dried. And now this process, the whole layout took me, uh, I think it was just under an hour, it was about 50 minutes, 45, 50 minutes. Um, and that was only because I was like, Frank and the boys were here obviously because it was public holiday and I think I stopped a couple of times to um, talk to them or do whatever you have to do. Uh, so I'm just using some really cheap <laughs> red paint that I have had for a couple of years to do my um, red flowers. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry. Something in my throat. Uh, yeah, so this is just some super cheap paint. I think I got it from like one of the dollar shops Maybe it was like three dollars for a tube. So it's nothing special and then at that point my camera cut off And I didn't realize for a little bit. So I had started to do the outline on my flowers to give them sort of definition and edges and I was shaking the pen and it splattered everywhere, which I've done a couple of times now. And you'd think I'd learn my lesson, but that's how I always end up with splatters on my page, usually because I'm shaking the pens or the paintbrushes and it ends up as a splatter. So I started doing that and then I stopped and I decided to do the stems on the flowers and I'm using a new, I can't remember what it's called. It's from uh, Color Blast, which is a company here in Australia and they made these um, pens I've got a gold one and a silver one and they're a brush tip but the ink inside them or the paint I'm not sure what exactly it is is like glittery and shimmery um, like a, I think it was a shimmer pen or something maybe and it's really cool I loved it and it didn't show up on the video as well as it does in real life because it's on the black background it doesn't show up a hundred percent but in real life you can kind of tilt the page a little bit and um, comes up really nicely it gives it a nice little shimmery effect and then I just used a gold um, jelly roll pen to do some outlines on that as well and went back and finished off my flower outlines they're not the best poppies and as you can see I've actually forgotten one down the bottom I do come back and fix that up later um, yeah I kind of I, this was a bit of a like an abstracty sort of a page for me it was, wasn't meant to look you know a hundred percent accurate it was just meant to be a bit of fun and we had been to the uh, Anzac Day parade and service my son was actually flag well one of the flag bearers in the parade and he was also one of the wreath layers for his scout group so we had gone along so that he could do that which was really really lovely and last year was the I didn't go last year because I had a newborn he was only I don't know, a couple of weeks old at that time so we didn't go so we made up for it this year 
anyway, that's enough of a tangent. Um, I got my uh, thin black pen and just did some black outlines around some of the white lines just to give it a bit more depth, a bit more definition, make them pop a little bit more than they were. And if you can hear the noise in the background, um, that's my son. He's watching a YouTube live stream thing. <laughs> so that's what's going on in the background. If you can hear that, I'm not sure if it's coming through or not. Um, but yeah, that's what all the background noise is. And then I wanted to experiment with something a little bit different. And I don't know if I like it or not, but... I did it and it's done now but I got some gelatos uh, this one was a lime green one and I just sort of put it along the bottom and then blended it in with a little bit of water um, yeah I do end up going a bit over the top and I get some yellow out to try <laughs> to go all over the page and it kind of comes together in the end and then this was the words I'm terrible at font I cannot do nice scripty font writing I can't do normal handwriting very well I'm terrible so I printed out uh, lest we forget um, just on some plain printer paper and then I scribbled on the back of it and traced it onto my page and then used this is a thin Posca pen I think this is the thinnest one they have and I went around the outline of it and then used my thicker this isn't the thickest one. There is a bigger one than this. This is like their mid-size one, I suppose. Um, still a Posca pen and use that to sort of color in the middle part of my words. And I sped up this bit for you or cut out a big chunk of it because my head was in the way for most of it. So you would have just been looking at the back of my head, which nobody wants to see that, especially not with all my grays and unbrushed probably. Um, yeah, so I did the less we forget across the top and then this is when I came in with uh, the yellow, what are they, gelatos. I'm not really sure what, what I was thinking at this point. I think I just wanted to give the edges a bit of definition, but I didn't want to add more white. I think that's what I was thinking. So yellow was kind of the next best thing and I don't know I don't not like it but I don't love it I think I could have done something else but I'm not really <laughs> sure what <laughs> maybe some gray would have been better but oh well it's all about you know the process and having fun really isn't it it doesn't really matter what it looks like well I mean it does but um, for me it's all about just having a play and getting something on the page and it doesn't have to look 100% perfect every time especially considering I really haven't been doing art journals for very long um like I don't know just this year really or well, maybe the, I started at the end of last year so it's all sort of experimenting and playing and having fun and I think that's pretty much this page done oh a few more gold splatters because white wasn't enough obviously so it's just wiping up a bit of the mess there that I did a few big dollops of the gold um, color shine and then I decided to go around all of the letters with the same gold pen I'd used on the stem so I ran around all the words um, just to give them a bit more depth as well and then went back in and added some little stamens into the middle of my flowers and yeah that is this page done guys so I'd like to thank you all for watching and be sure to leave a like if you liked this art journal process video and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe I appreciate that and I will catch you in the next one bye